We're gonna go grab the tractor. Oh my God, I'm cold. Whew. We're gonna grab the tractor. I need one of those baklava things. We're gonna go, can't talk through it though. Hi there, welcome back to the 30 and 30, 30 vlogs in 30 days in the month of April from a ranch in Northeast Wyoming, where we continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Thanks for coming along with us, guys. We have snow, we have moisture, which is good. Uh, we're expecting it. It's now here, and now we have to deal with a whole new set of problems as we continue to calve. We've got a pretty short video for you today. Um, we're going to go out, we're going to check our calves that are out here. Uh, we're going to make sure that every calf can get up that's moving, that make sure that they're all still healthy and, and good in this temperature and the weather. We're also going to venture back and make sure that there's not any cows that are trying to have a calf in this weather. So it's definitely going to pose some challenges for us, but we, we need the moisture. We're going to take it. It's about 30 degrees. Wind chill is it, not horrible, maybe 25 degrees or something like that with the wind chill. Cows are definitely fine. The calves that were born uh, earlier, they're going to be okay. They're dry. What we're worried about is any calves that might be born in this kind of weather, but there's no way to know without heading out there and checking it out. Where did I put my sunglasses? I found them, they were on my head. All right, let's go. That's right, we're back on the wonderful four-wheeler. <laughs> the Gator, still parked on a day when we could really, really use it. Right over here seems to be where most of our moms are hanging out with their calves. And the first one that I want to introduce you to today is a brand new calf that was born this morning. Um, if you happen to watch the, uh, the webcam on our website, you might have actually seen this little guy uh, being born. Her mom, or his mom, is Bear. And Bear is right here, number 99. Um, Bear actually lost her ears and her tail to frostbite, which we're hoping um, doesn't affect this little one today. Hey, you okay? Take care of your baby, okay? Not too far away. We've got another calf. This is number 77's calf here. Mom keeping a pretty close eye on us. Calf looks okay. Can you get up, kiddo? Come on. Come on, get up. Come on. I'm gonna annoy you until you stand up. Come on. All right, well, here comes mom. So we're gonna move. <laughs> we all know her story. Hey, girly. And over here, number 65's calf. Looking good and alert. Now these calves are cold, but they're really not in any danger. The, uh, the amount of, of hair that they have covering them at this point is enough to insulate them from pretty much any cold that we have to deal with. We are missing uh, a couple calves. We're going to go try to find those here as, uh, as we head through the, the ranch and, and look, <clears throat> I just swallowed a snowflake, and look for, uh, <laughs> look for any cows that are out here maybe having a calf uh, this evening as we move through. 
Uh, once we once we determine that that all looks good, I think uh, we'll probably jump in the tractor and put out uh, a bale of hay, maybe two, uh, someplace uh, and someplace uh, dry for these calves to to hang out. But I think we've got. Um, well, I know we have uh, calves uh, in the corrals. Those ones are safe, um, including April, who, uh, who you guys have met and actually named. And then uh, we have one more that's out here that I know of. We're going to go and find her. And last time I saw her, she was hiding back here by a little area that we call, uh, we call Turtle Bridge. mom down here with her calf. This calf is tagged. Actually pretty good place for her to keep her calf. Her calf is going to get wet down here but is protected um, from the wind pretty much so not a bad thing at all. Calf looks alert, ears are up and moving and <clears throat> he or she is holding her head up just fine so I'm happy with that. Fun. Thought I was gonna get stuck there for a second. Alrighty. So <laughs> here's a funny story. Uh, in uh, the last couple videos, everybody is well, not everybody, but there's been a lot of comments about the four wheeler and, and checking the valves on the four wheeler, and it doesn't sound quite right. Um, that's actually uh, kind of done on purpose because I'm filming all the time. Um, I can't shift up and down like I normally would. So I actually usually run in a little bit higher gear than I normally would if I had both hands and was able to shift gears as I could without holding a camera. So that's why um, the, the valves sound like it it's just sounds a little off. So I'm basically just doing a lap checking for any other cows that may have wandered off to decide to have a calf. Um, the nice thing about the snow is you can always look for footprints and, uh, and be able to tell if anybody is left. So this is kind of a... Um, a horrible thing to do on the four-wheeler. Yeah, this sucks. Okay, so here's the nice thing. All the cows are in what we call the triangle pasture, which is this field right here. It has only two gates that go in and out. And since I know everybody is in here, all I have to do is check these gates. If I see any footprints, I know that, uh, that a cow is left and I know to go and find her. But for right now, we're gonna go grab the tractor. Oh my God, I'm cold. We are going to grab the tractor. I need one of those baklava things. We're going to go, can't talk through it though. We're going to go grab the tractor and, uh, and get these guys fed for the evening. And then we'll, I'll be out probably every three to four hours uh, just doing a quick ride around, making sure that everybody's okay, that all the calves look warm, well, warm enough. And, uh, and, all, and we haven't had any new calves, so. That's gonna be my evening, and that's why this is gonna be a short video because I wanna get it edited and ready for you guys, and then that way I can really uh, concentrate on taking care of these cows tonight in, uh, in what may be probably the, uh, the most difficult uh, night that they've had up until this point. So 
let me grab the tractor here and then it'll be nice to sit in the tractor the tractor has heat um grab the tractor and uh get these guys fed luckily too i actually have two bales right up here and ready to go not bad once you stop Whew. getting hit in the face with the snow um, and if you live in Florida, I'll tell you about it, is like uh, 9,000 little tiny needles stabbing you in the face constantly as you drive along. Plus it makes your nose run, which is, uh, which is not very attractive either. All right, we're gonna take the tractor and go get these guys fed. Woo, all fogged up. I do have a strategy here. I want to put, I'm going to put out two bales. Uh, one bale I'm going to put over and away, and that's for cows that have not had calves yet. And then I'm going to put a bale over where those calves were laying, or at least close by, uh, for those moms. And hopefully the calves will come and lay on some dry hay. Might work. We'll see. couple of the moms that have calves over there came over here to get hay so while my theory might work for one cow I don't think it's gonna work for all of them <laughs> in fact it looked like it looks like all the moms abandoned their calves except for number 77 brought her calf with her to grab some food. Come here kiddo, I made you a bed. Nice and soft. Hey, no, no, no. Don't run away. It's okay. Well, that one didn't like my bed. Maybe the next one will. There goes mom to take care of that one, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna give this one something to sleep on also. How's that? You like that? As long as mom doesn't come try to come back and eat you, you'll be just fine. cold but she's okay she'll definitely get checked on a few times tonight all right so there we go calves and moms all taken care of 77's calf standing back there the snow continues to fall. That means moisture, which is great. Uh, this will help give the grass a little bit of a, a head start as we head into spring. And for us, we're gonna be doing checks pretty much all night long. 
Thanks for coming along today. We'll have an update for you tomorrow as we continue the 30 and 30, 30 vlogs in 30 days right here on our Wyoming Life.